Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you the finished product. Um, this is how my dining room turned out. I'm very happy with it. I'm just gonna show you around here real quickly how this looks. Now, there were a couple of things that I wanna tell you about that uh, a couple, couple of snags that I ran into. The original color I was gonna do at the top was going to be called Heartthrob Red, which looks like this color right here, Heartthrob Red. However, when I put it on the wall, it looked very, very orangey. So I decided not to go with that color. And later I found out is, what I found out is one, that it's important to use the proper color prime. And the copper co proper color prime is on the back of the swatch. So it, like for example, for this one it says P2. And then there's P1, there's P3, there's different types of primers. And it was important, and I did not put that on the wall at first. So when I put it on the wall, and then uh, it looked very orangey. And also the mistake I made is that I bought a red color sample from Sharon Williams called Color To Go. These are only about $7, and you can try out the color on the wall before you buy a whole gallon of paint. Well, I did not know that these don't come in the base red like the regular large paint jars do. So when they make a red for you in these Color To Go samples, they're basically mixing a whole bunch of colors together trying to get a red. And so the red does not turn out great. So if you're getting a deep, rich color, I do recommend that one, you use the primer and the proper primer color that's on the back of the swatch. And two, make sure you know you keep in mind that you need to get the full gallon, not the color sample, because the, the color samples do not come in with the red base. Now, if you're doing a lighter color, the color samples um, are fine, and they will pretty much match the big gallon of paint when you go to get those. So I ended up changing from this swatch, the Heart Throb Red, to this swatch. This is called Antique Red, and it's more of a brownish tone to it, so you can get an idea of how this looks. It looks like the swatch, but as you can see, keep in mind your swatches are normally a matte color, and the texture on your wall and the sheen, this is satin sheen, the sheen on your wall will make it look a little different. But I am very, very happy with how this turned out. Very, very happy. Now the bottom is called Colonnade Gray. And the, uh, this, there, here's how the swatch looks compared to the actual wall, which is very close. Now I ended up doing the whole bottom part of the wall using these color to go samples. Now, like I said, these are very inexpensive. I bought about four of these for $7. So, I, you know, four quarts equal a, a gallon. So I ended up paying less by buying this paint in four, four of these quarts. But I did, my, I did buy the red in the whole gallon um, paint jar because I needed that red base. Now, I ended up picking this gray because I thought I was going with the heartthrob red. And the heartthrob red was actually listed on the back of the swatch for the heartthrob heart red. But uh, I went on and kept this, this, ba this bottom with this top. It turned out okay. I probably will repaint it later. I just think the gray is a little too modern for me. My furniture is real traditional. And um, I wanted an old, more antiquish, golden, probably look. I should have... I should have went with that original thought of a golden brownish yellow for the bottom, but it's fine for now. My husband said he's not repainting it, so we are sticking with this for a while. Let me know if you like it, but it does uh, look very clean and contemporary. So if, you, if that's your style, gray is definitely a great way to go. And a real quick tip, when you go to Sherman Williams, make sure you ask for your paint stirrer and your can, your paint opener. Um, I had to ask for these items. They do not, you know, automatically give them to you. So that's something to keep in mind. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to um, comment below. I'm just going to go around the room and show you real quick. I appreciate you watching. And then um, if you have any tips for doing these type of projects, please leave them below. I just want to mention, too, I use a lot of frog tape to tape off the white and I ended up having to actually touch up the white there. So if you have any questions, uh, comment, thumbs, thumbs up. Um, thank you for watching.